And hello, 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 and welcome back for some more European of Assassin's 4 Finnish Mega Campaign fun. Now, rebels, more rebels. Oh, there's always rebels in my realm. Oh, well, should be able to deal with them pretty easily, though. I've got 49 regiments of awesomeness over here. Yep, you go over there. How much money am I making? 876. Probably should get that a little bit higher if I can. Ooh, Britain's embargoed us. I didn't realize that. Okay, got to deal with dem rebels then, I guess. Uh, oh wow, scheming bureaucracy. Well, yeah, what's this one? Current ruler will die. Lost stability, type of despotism, stability cost modifier, cooldown, monthly cooldown, actual focus cooldown. Kill them all. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's what you get for screwing around. Screwing around too much. Now, do we have any more trade ships? I could use a few more. Take the stability there. Um, trade ships, trade ships, trade ships. Yeah, let's build more trade ships. Because I lost the other ones. Need some frigates. Uh, probably like 11 or 12 ships should do the trick, I would imagine. Yeah, that will... Actually, no, wait a second. I'm probably building a few more. Come on. Oh, right. Yep, that'll do for now. And one more over there. Yep, that's good. That'll do. How long do these provinces are called as well? 1730. Okay. And I'm also another 12 years of getting separatism down low enough over here. Okay. How much manpower do I have? Uh, I've got a, f I've got a bit. Now, yep, they've taken that already as well as expected. Go attack those lot because they're just annoying. Like, what are you attacking us for? That's not far off completing as well. That's at seventy. What's this one? Expansion ideas, recruitment time, diplomatic relations plus one. Hmm. Not sure. Okay, got a colony going over here. I'm not sure if that's part of Canada or if that's just, just inside um, New Suomi. I'm not sure. Got two colonies going over here. They're currently building one in Lenape as well. I should really attack Mexico, I reckon. Now, if these guys are over here, I reckon I can take them. Though I might become westernized first if I can um, help it. Colombia. Oh, wait a second. What? Colombia got independent? When did that happen? Oh, Colombia has got independent and they're a grand republic. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if they'll go to war again with the British. Someone's been annexed. Okay, alrighty then. Uh, oops. Oh, yeah, I got a siege problem still. Ah, another rebellion over in Moscow. Yay. That makes me really enthused. There's a disease outbreak though, so I'm going to split these troops up. Because I just need to get the, these guys defeated already. And that, anyway, that army was a little bit too large. On the, on the one hand also. Okay. Oh, wait a second. They retreated. They're actually trying to get away. Well, I'm going to go attack these lot over in Moscow then, if that's the case. I might improve relations with these people. Wow, they are being ruffle stomped something fierce. What is going on over here? Who are they at war with? They're at war with the Ming and Omar. I'm assuming that's the Ming who's done all that damage. Their empire could very likely be splitting up a bit. Um, it's at a negative 34, defender against Ming in the Ming, it's an imperialist war. That is interesting, because if they are absolutely mauling them, you might see a few independent states come out of that. Yep, we finally caught these soldiers over here as well. All the, sorry, not these soldiers, these rebels. Rebel scum. 
Where are they going? I have no idea where they're going. At all. So I'm just going to send them north in general. See what they can do with that. Lithuania definitely hates me as well. Who's Pinsk allied with? Lithuania. So if I, if I was to attack Pinsk, that might be such a bad move. Italy is also at war with who? The Abbasids, the Husamids, a bunch of other mids. Am I going to catch that enemy army over there? I am. I'm making it difficult, but I'll still win. Batu Spira. No chance to get against Pekka Osvana. There's a few modifiers against me in that battle. How's the siege going over here? Is it nearly done? No, it's taken a while. Longer than I thought it would. Hmm, wouldn't mind converting a few more of these provinces as well, but that's a bit difficult at this stage. Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just going to continue with that. Ah, oh, the rebels broke him in Sarkel. What a surprise. How many troops do I have to replace? Oh, a few. It's costing me a bit of money as well. Ah, a bunch of new ships. Finally. Okay. Yep, let's send them over there. Come on, the siege keeps going. Stop already, stop. Yep, finally taking Kazan. Send these troops over here and base them in Moscow. That's fairly central. So I might just keep them there. The Kipchaks. Rebel uprising over here. Oh, more potential rebels. I uh, didn't get to put them down in time. Over in Sibir. Uh, so many rebels at the moment. No, it's partly my own fault. I keep conquering territory. I should maybe give some of them a bit more autonomy, actually. That would probably help a fair bit. Anyway, Mongol separatists are over there, so my soldiers are getting sent over there. Yeah, of course they rebelled over there. That was always going to happen. How's Andalusia going? Yeah, they're, they're still building. Do they have any other colonies, I wonder? Hmm. Mongol separatists have got control of the territory. What's the development like over here, I wonder? Three, three, three. Not very high. Uruk of Vanamo. Ooh, I like the sound of that name. Yeah, I got another colony down. I'll take that. That's part of the Canadian region as well. Let's get as much of that colony as possible, I think. Should I get Louisiana established, actually? That might not be such a bad, bad choice, to be fair. Did you go to War of the Creek? They've got a lot of regiments, I don't know why they did that. Am I going to have to go join in the war to help them out? I think I'm going to have to. Ugh. Well, that Tengri, is it? Oh, that's interesting. How much Tengri is over there? Well, that's pretty much all the Tengri that's left in the game. There's no other Tengri that I can really see. There was some Tengri over here, but a lot of it got, but a lot of it got converted. Okay, we'll send them over there. Let me think. Okay, they've stupidly gone to war, haven't they? They most definitely have. So, if they have gone to war, 
What was the war about? In Yusumi Conquest of the Creek, but obviously they've attacked them without nowhere near enough troops. Um, I might need to assist them, I think. I don't, I don't really don't know if I can do that much, to be completely honest, to help them out. If they attack that army and defeat it, they'll probably win. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Okay. Siege away, siege away. I probably should finish off these lot over here as well. So, I'm going to get me some claims in that territory. Let's get one on again, and then probably Yugan. Then work our way down south. Move south already, what are you doing? Yeah. Hmm, land clearance. Yep, I think I should get that. And already there. Oh, Riga's nearly called. Oh, thankfully. That time. Yay, Riga's called. They'll be slightly less pissed off now. Okay, come on, get get it over and done with. Yeah, yeah, Tesh is retaken. Now, you lot go to here the Moskva, where you should be able to put a lot of troops. No, I'm gonna keep the Bulgar co culture there. I kind of like it. I'm trying to convert anything, and it just takes long to convert most of these places. Unless I can get someone. Unless I can get someone who can make that easier. Trade efficiency, well, that's really expensive as well. Morale of armies. No, I can't really get anything to do with that. Okay, oh well. And I'll be back in just a moment, I'm just gonna go grab some. And I'm back, apologies for that. Uh, I need to send these guys to go do some more trade. Protect trade around... Actually, where are these guys doing their job? I'm actually not sure. Um, they are doing... Ah, oh, Novgorod. Okay. So, these chaps will then do the Baltic Sea area. Yeah, we're actually getting a lot through the Baltic Sea area. Considering Lithuania only, only has like two coastal, oh, four coastal provinces, sorry. Left. It's my relations like with France. Aren't they an ally? They are. Okay, I should really improve that then. Um, improve relations. Like, so. How much can I improve it by? 84. That's decent. That is decent. Kiev. Who's Kiev allied with? They're in a personal union with Italy, though, so that's not really plausible. Um, land leader shock. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, I can nearly get mercantile status. Trade steering. Sweet. How's their war going, anyway? Wait a second. Ah, uh, why didn't you make him release a bunch of states? Gah. It looks like they annexed some territory from them. A decent amount, actually. Not sure how many provinces exactly, but it looks like a decent amount of provinces. Wow, they went really gung-ho on that, didn't they? Um... No, I wonder, wonder if the country's going to split in half. It might. Or split into about 12 different pieces. Yay, the colonists is over there. Get it done. What about rebel uprisings? Rebel uprisings? Ugh, really? Tell them to shut up. Tell, tell them to stop being annoying. Which provinces is that a part of? I have no idea. 
Um, oh, wait a second. I think I know which province is. Um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to give Riga some more time. Yep, giving them autonomy, or autonomy, autonomy should help put them down a fair bit. Even if I have to spend a bit, it does put the unrest down a f quite a lot, actually. Um, so that should make them less pissed off. In theory, I'm not sure. Can I use harsh treatment on them, though? So, I might move... Actually, I'm going to keep these soldiers here for the moment. Not going to move them. Need to, need to replenish all my troops still. Army maintenance, fleet maintenance, fort maintenance, colonies maintenance. Ugh, it's not cheap. Not cheap ruling an empire, that's for sure. How long since that's done? Uh, it's only at 80. Okay, they're still they're still applying pressure to Andalusia there. Colombia, ah, that's awesome. I like that Colombia's there. That's pretty cool. If I offer Colombia an alliance, are they going to drag me into wars against them? You know what? Screw it. I'm going to offer them an alliance because why not? It does help to serve my purposes over here a bit. How's the war going for them anyway? 34 in their favor. Okay, it's actually going pretty good for them now. Well, if they annex a bit, I'll be happy. Now, we can just declare war on, the, on this lot if we want to, I think. We can. Do we have spare troops to do it, though? I could build a brand new army to send over there. How many troops do they have? I'm not finding how many troops they have. If I can find that out. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is I need to go back to I. Not many troops. So I should be able to take them. They still rebelled anyway. Wow, I find that kind of annoying. Gave them all that autonomy and they just treated me like shit. Oh, that's not very nice. Okay, I think I might build a brand new army and send them over to that area. But I'm going to have to send them here first. What's the war score right now? Negative 54. Yep, they're definitely going to win. They're going to annex a bit as well. Anything to expand that realm? Come on, Canada, stop doing your own provinces. Gah, make me do the effort. Oh, Vladimir's rebelled as well. Gah, so many rebellions. Now yeah, it's my own fault. Might hire some mercs if I'm actually, if I'm actually gonna send troops over there. I might hire some mercenaries. So, we're gonna hire some mercs. It's not gonna be cheap. But in the long run, should work out. Okay, all those regiments should do. We're gonna we're gonna use. Okay, I've got them patrolling an area. They don't need. Don't need to patrol because they're transport ships and I'm an idiot. So them over here. Of course they've taken control of that province. This is what they do. Oh yeah, got that one done. Sweet. Oh, they annex some territory in the end. What do they annex? Annex. They annex this province, Chiro, and also Kusa. That's good. I'll take that. Now, I either establish another colony over here or I go down to Louisiana. Hmm. Yeah, let's go here, I reckon. Anyway, that's starting to fill out a bit, and that's actually starting to look a bit better. Um, I remember, I remember when there used to be about, oh, well, something like a third to a half the provinces there is until um, one of the expansions where they brought out, like, where they absolutely, like, doubled or, like, tripled the amount of provinces in North America. Gugh. Made things interesting. Pretty entertaining as well. So they did actually annex a bit in the end. Is Lenape done yet? Just wondering. Yeah, it's done. Well, where are they going to establish their new colony? 
Oh, over here. Okay. We'll see how it is. Oh, I've got a lot of mercs now, and it's actually not costing me anything. You can't complain with that, no. Okay, send all regiments over there. Because we're going to war, I think. Protect trade in the... Let me think. Uh, Baltic Sea. Okay, that'll do. Yay, fur. Fur means more trade, means more money. It makes me happy. Yay. Might increase speed by one also. Just get things going a bit faster. A bit faster. Because I'm preparing for an invasion over in Mexico. Because I want some territory over there. And I've been wanting it for a while, but I've been too slack to make the effort. I want to get a presence in Central America. So, I'm going to send these lads over here. New Siomi. It's looking very good. I should probably connect the um, Canadian provinces to these provinces over here, I think. Probably would make sense. Hmm. Yeah. And that'll probably do for the moment anyway. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves, and as per usual, bye bye.